Hey y'all, Dixie here. Today I'd like to talk to you about my favorite raincoat for 2021. I've used a lot of different rain jackets over the years, but today I want to highlight some of my favorite. First things first, because not everybody wants to spend hundred plus dollars on a raincoat. My favorite budget rain jacket is the Frog Togs Ultralight Rain Suit. Now, just like it sounds, it is a rain suit, so it comes together as a combo with the jacket and the pants, but it only costs about $20. You can probably get this at your local outfitter or at a Walmart or even online on Amazon. Not only is this a budget friendly setup, but it's also lightweight. Depending on the size, of course, the weight will vary, but you can expect the whole suit together to weigh about 12 ounces. This is the rain suit I used for my 2015 through hike of the Appalachian Trail, and it worked just fine for me. Of course, there are always some negative aspects to any piece of gear. So while this setup is lightweight and also very affordable, it's not the most durable rain jacket or rain suit that you're gonna find. If you're gonna be hiking in an area that's not well maintained and you think you're gonna be going through a lot of briars or brush then this might not be the best option for you because it does tear easily but you can always patch it in the field with a piece of duct tape so make sure you've got some of that with you the Appalachian Trail for example is a very well maintained path so during my 2200 mile trek of the AT I ended up having two different rain suits so it cost me a total of $40 for my rain gear for that whole through hike. Another downside to the Frog Togs rain suit is that it's not the most attractive piece of rain gear that I've ever seen. It's just kind of frumpy and they don't have a whole lot of color options. But all in all, it functions well and if you're on a tight budget, this might be a good option for you. Next up is my favorite rain jacket for colder temperatures or windy weather, and that's the Anti-Gravity Gear Ultralight Rain Jacket. This jacket just feels a bit sturdier and more durable than other raincoats that I've worn. It blocks the wind well, and I think it's a good outer shell for just colder temperatures when you're trying to stay warm in any way that you can. It does have pit zips to help regulate your temperature, and also I like having pit zips if I'm trying to access my pockets underneath my coat because it's a bit easier than trying to unzip your whole rain jacket and the reach in or to try to raise it up while you got your pack on. So just having those pit zips allows for easier access. It's got an adjustable hood and this rain jacket is also very fairly priced. They run about $100 and then you can seam seal it at home or if you wanna pay extra for their seam sealing service, then it's $20. So for $120, you can have a very well-made jacket that's good to go and ready to hit the trail. It's pretty lightweight, anywhere from 7.5 to 8.2 ounces, depending on the size you need. And finally, I like the anti-gravity gear rain jacket color options. They don't have a ton of options, but you can either go with something that just kind of blends in and isn't too loud, or they have a bright orange color that I think is a great idea, especially if you've got search and rescue teams out looking for you. That's something that you could display, or you know, if you're passed out, that's something that they'll easily see. And also if you tend to backpack during hunting season, because I promise you hunters are out there rain or shine. One con for the anti-gravity gear jacket is the material isn't breathable, so it's not necessarily something that I'd wanna wear in warm weather or everyday life. Even with the pit zips, it's just not going to be as breathable as other jackets. But that's probably what makes it best for extreme rain or colder weather. And last but not least, my favorite go-to all-purpose raincoat for the trail and in normal life is the Enlightened Equipment Women's Visp Rain Jacket. And don't worry if you're a man, they do have a men's version too. I just love this rain jacket in general because it's soft and has a sleek design. It's also very lightweight. My medium weighs 4.6 ounces. The jacket also has a two-way adjustable hood so you can make sure it fits your noggin properly and it has velcro on the wrist so you can go with a loose fit or if you want to strap things down and keep it a little safer from getting rained on then you can do that. Also comes already seam taped so it's not your typical gel type seam sealer but it's actually a tape made for seam sealing. The women's visp doesn't come automatically with pit zips, 
So there are two ways that you can go here. If you've got some time to wait for your order to come in, you can have it custom made with pit zips, but you'll have to wait about eight to 10 weeks as of today. I'm sure the lead times can fluctuate, but if you want one of their already in stock options, it does not come with the pit zips, but it'll ship in about one to two days. The only thing that I would really consider negative about this particular rain jacket is that it's more expensive than the other ones. This one will run you $190. All right, y'all, that's all I have for you today on rain jackets. If you've got a favorite go-to rain jacket or rain jackets that use for different purposes, I'd love to hear about that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.